Hi everybody, I know that I have not been vlogging for a while and so I'd just like to say hi. I'm not going to apologise, it's just that I made the choice not to vlog while I was away. I haven't been home in like three weeks, which is probably as long as I haven't vlogged. And uh, for some of that I did in Melbourne, you know, you know, you would have seen some of that. But anyway, I've been extremely busy so I haven't vlogged basically. But um, today we are going to do something different. Different, different. And that is, we are going to make some ricotta cheese. And I, I thought to myself, well, I might as well make it a bit of a vlog. And I've got myself the ingredients, which is two liters of full cream milk and two tablespoons of vinegar. And so I'm going to start doing the cooking of the ricotta cheese. If you, you know what, ricotta cheese is so easy to make. You know, you just, it's milk basically, and you curdle it, and, that, and that's it. Pretty much. All right. Well, I've got my pot here that's um, fairly thick. You know, you want it. You want a, a fairly, um, you know, thick base because uh, you want it to the milk to kind of be um, evenly heated. And I'm just going to put the whole two liters, two liters of milk, which is like half a quart, people. For those of you who don't know what liter. Anyway, so that's two liters of milk in there. I'm just going to bring it to the boil, and. Um, Yep, pretty much wait for it to boil and put some vinegar. For those of you who want to know how we curdle it, we are putting vinegar. You can put lemon juice, but I'm going to use vinegar today. Now, the other thing is that I like to put a bit of salt in my uh, cheese. So I'm just going to put a little dash of salt in there and get that to dissolve. Um, you know, it's up to you. Lots of people don't put any salt. So if you don't want to put salt, don't stress out. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really up to you. If you want to put salt, if you don't, I do like to put a little bit of salt. Okay? Okay, now you can see that there's like a, f a thin layer of like uh, of bubbles on the top of the milk and you can see that even some of the milk has turned into like particles already um, as you're stirring it. So I would take it off the heat um, now because I can see that it, it's just forming that film on top. You know, and you don't want to over -boil, boil the milk. Okay, don't stress it out if you do, but see how these bo bubbles are right here? Yeah, this milk is ready. So I've taken it off the heat and uh, I've got myself prepared uh, two tablespoons of uh, white vinegar. And I'm just going to put it in there. We're going to stir it up and the milk will curdle. Okay, so don't freak out. That's what it's supposed to do. That's the whole point. And uh, basically as it starts to curdle, you know, just going to stir it. And uh, basically it's going to make your curds and whey. See that? Look at that. I can see it happening already. So awesome. I love this. Hey, you know what? That little Miss Muffet sat in a tuffet, you know? Curds and whey, people. Must have been Italian. Just saying. Now, I would stir that for a little bit um, and then basically let it sit for about 10 minutes and uh, let it cool a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in a cheese strainer. Now, if you don't have a cheese strainer, um, you know that which is sometimes the ricotta comes in those cheese strainers so if you don't have one of those don't freak out um, just you just get some cheesecloth so I don't know if I've already told you that and I'll show you the cheese strainer as well and you would have seen that I've got this uh, contraption that I'm using that's got the holes in it now I've basically um, chosen to use that because um, you know when you scoop out the, the cheese it, um, it just makes it easier I don't like to necessarily pour the cheese straight into the strainer. I like to do it a bit more gently at first at least anyway. So let me show you, look what the curds look like. Oh, so gosh, it's so good. I wanna cry. Anyway, <laughs> I love ricotta cheese. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So if that's what it looks like, you're good. Okay, so don't freak out. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this for about 10 minutes to uh, for the, so that the acid can do its thing. Okay, well, ooh, I've, I've taken the, uh, so there's still some more ricotta, but I wanted to show you, that's the, that's the, uh, the milk that's, um, well, it's not really milk, is it? <laughs> the whey, that's the whey. And these are the curds, and I'm just gonna let it uh, drain a little bit more. And the more you let it drain, the more firm it becomes, but I've still got some more curds to get. So, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you that's the, uh, the separation. So I don't know if you can see, I just want to show you, see the, the way is, is not, it's kind of clear, you can see underneath it's clear, it's not milky, so that's, uh, that's how it should be. Anyway, it's kind of full of, uh, this basket's full, I'm so happy with how it turned out, fantastic, I love it. 
Anyway, this is what it looks like, and that's uh, you've almost got a full basket there of uh, ricotta cheese. Now it's always good to make sure the temperature is really hot, obviously, um, or hot enough, otherwise it won't curdle enough. But um, wow, I am so impressed with this. I love it. You know, I encourage anyone out there if you love ricotta cheese, might as well make it yourself. It's so good. Anyway. Easy, hey. Well, you could just go buy it for like whatever, five bucks a kilo or <laughs> whatever it is. I suppose it's easier that way. But you know what? I like it when it's warm and fresh. And I always remember when I was young, we used to go to the factory and go get fresh ricotta cheese. It was so hot when it came out. Fantastic. Gosh, just all those childhood memories. Anyway, go and do that. You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my ricotta cheese. Have a nice one. I'll see you tomorrow.